next i'm going to discuss about the dry and method of this program so if you develop the code control comes to main function here after that go inside so at here i've taken integer variable n i j and here after that control comes to this point so enter the numbers of this or display into the output screen so whatever i'm going to enter that received by n so i'm going to enter n by so here after control comes to follow for a start from i start from one check the condition one less than equal to five that's true again that coincides j start from one again now uh, check the condition one less than equal to one one equal to one that's true now control comes to this point printer i value so that print i now here after j gonna increase by one so j become two check the condition two less than equal to one that's not true now uh, control out from inner for loop cursor come to this point now con uh, that control comes to new line here after that go up increase the value of i so i become 2 check the condition 2 less than equal to uh, 5 so that's 2 j start from 1 again check the condition 1 less than equal to 2 that's 2 again how uh, that go inside print the value of i so that print i j gonna increase by 1 j become 2 check the condition 2 less than equal to uh, 2 that's 2 again how uh, that coincide print the value of j now j gonna increase by 1 so j become 3 check the condition 3 less than equal to 2 now that's not true now that go not coincide print so cursor add in, cursor bring to new line now here after or uh, go up increase the value of i so i become 3 or uh, check the condition 3 less than equal to 5 that's true now j start from 1 again now or uh, 1 less than equal to 3 that's true print the value of i so i is now 3 that print that go up increase the value of j so j become 2 or uh, check the condition 2 less than or uh, equal to 3 that's true print the value of i that print 3 that go up increase the value of j so j become 3 3 less than equal to 3 so that's true again uh, that go inside print the value of i now j uh, gonna increase by 1 so j become 4 check the condition 4 less than equal to i value 3 that's not true cursor comes to this point so i have cursor link to new line now that go up increase the value of i so i become 4 Uh, check the condition for less than equal to 5 that's so true j start from 1 or uh, j i less than equal to 4 so 1 less than equal to 4 that's true so print j value now that go up increase the value of j so j become 2 check the condition 2 less than equal to 4 print i value so j 3 now so 3 less than equal to 4 that's true print i value also again j gonna increase by 1 so j 4 or check the condition 4 less than equal to 4 that's true print i value now or j gonna increase by 1 so j become 5 check the condition 5 less than equal to uh, 4 that's not true so control comes to this point cursor bring to new line now that go up increase the value of i so i become 4 to 5 now uh, j start from 1 again check the condition 1 less than equal to 5 that's true so print the value of i or j is gonna increase by 1 so check the condition 2 less than equal to 5 that's true print the value of i or j gonna increase by 1 so j 3 or 3 less than equal to uh, 5 that's true print the value of i uh, j gonna increase by 1 so j 4 or uh, 4 less than equal to 5 that's true print the value of i or uh, j gonna increase by 1 so j 4 to 5 check the condition 5 less than equal to 5 that's true print the value of i now j gonna increase by 1 so j becomes 6 Check the condition 6 less than equal to 5. That's not true. So cursor bring to new line. Here after that, increase the value of i. So i become 5 to 6. Check the condition 6 less than equal to 5. So condition false. So that out from uh, 
for loop and main function. So if you enter a four, then or uh, a display one, double two, triple three, triple four. So if you enter six number, so it's or uh, display six six times. So if you enter seven, then uh, seven display. So uh, this uh, triangle display till seven, seven lost or uh, seven times. So this is the drain method of this program. So I hope you understand. So thanks for watching. See you next week.